Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to add a custom signature to your Gmail account. So I'm going to open up my web browser and I'm already logged into Gmail. I'm going to click on this little icon here, this cog, and I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to move down the page and I'll get to this section called signature. I'm going to click on this little checkbox here, this radio button to say that I want to use a signature and then I've prepared some sample text and I've simply, you can simply type that information in and you'll notice that I've left two blank spaces bef before uh, the phone number and the website address and we'll also put two blank spaces and put in an email address here. So if you want, you can go ahead and save this and that will be your signature, but it would be nice if there's some little icons down the side and possibly we could maybe make the name bold and do a few other little fixes to this. So let's try and add some icons down the side here and maybe we'll put um, uh, our logo or something else here in, in here as well. So what we'll do is we'll go to this website here called flaticon.com and we want to find an icon for telephone, mobile, email and website. So let's have a look for, uh, this is flaticon.com and I'm going to search for telephone. So when I search for telephone, I'll get all these different icon styles. And in this example, I'm going to use this one here. So when I hover over the icon, I click on this little box in the corner and that will add it to something called a collection. So you can see there's two in there. Let's get rid of this one. Uh, let's remove. So we've got one icon in there with um, a phone and then we want a mobile so I'm going to use this one here and then we want to look for email so we'll use uh, this I think uh, yeah we'll use this black one here and then we want to look for website and I think we'll use this one here so we've got four icons one two three four here we'll click on download collection it's going to ask me for the format and I want it to be a PNG file and I want it to be the smallest size 16 and then click download so I'm going to open up this folder it's going to drag and drop this zip file into here I'll right click and I'll extract the zip file I can delete this and we will have these PNG four of them here. So what we'll do is go back to Gmail and I'm going to left click on the side of this telephone number and then click insert image and then click upload and I'll drag and drop the phone and once it's finished uploading it will close and add the phone icon there so let's do the mobile and we'll do the email address And then finally the website address. So we've got four icons, it's looking a little bit better the signature now. And if you wanted to, you could put your logo at the bottom here. You don't have to put your logo there. We'll try and add a logo anyway. The logo is quite big. If you click on the logo, you can resize it to medium, small. You can play around with that, or you can create the image exactly the right size before you upload it. I don't think I'm going to have a logo there, so I'm going to remove it. And that's pretty much the signature done. So we can scroll down now and click save. And 
then when we click on compose that signature will be there automatically and it's got the links in there for the website and every time you write an email you'll always have this signature here prepared for you okay i hope you find that tutorial useful and i look forward to seeing you on the next dcp web tutorial <laughs>